Palitos. All right. Paila is a stick. Palitos is a little stick, maybe smaller than these, maybe like this little. But why is this an important term to learn? And uh, how do you execute it? How do you use this idea of little sticks? What is that? Well, the term is used in the style of Latin Caribbean uh, drumming, folkloric drumming, mostly called rumba. Rumba Wabanco, rumba Columbia, uh, rumba Yambu. And that, you don't need to remember that. But just remember that the little sticks part is just any, it's just you have the sticks and then you play on something. And what you play on, and this is different than most other instruments, because most instruments, we think about the name of the instrument, and then that's what we're playing. But in this case, it's the how we're playing it. It's the what are we using to play the instrument is the little sticks. And why is that? Well, that's because the instrument really isn't that important in this case. And the reason is because people would just play on whatever was around. In other words, if you play the palitos part, you're just kind of keeping uh, a little basic rhythm and there's a few variations. We're not gonna get into all that in this little talk. But the thing is you can play on the side of a drum, like I was, uh, or the cascara or the shell, right? You could play on the edge of a drum, So here's the side over here. You could play on the cement, on the ground. You could play on a bottle, like whatever. Anything that's laying around. Now people play on, you know, a little wood block if you want to get more formal. People play on bamboo, wood blocks, you know, that kind of thing. So your homework is to go find some palitos patterns, you know, listen for that. Start with some rumba. Uh, traditional rumba, not ballroom, rumba, but rumba from Cuba, Puerto Rico, and identify that part because you're going to hear it. You will hear it. Usually, not always, but often it'll sound like the side of a drum. It might sound like a woodblock or some other sound. It might even be on a cowbell. Sometimes they play on the closed end of the cowbell, but you'll hear that little da da ga 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 da ga ga da And what is that doing? Musically, it's outlining the forward motion, like 16th or 8th notes, but it's also outlining the clave rhythm. Uh, and I said, like, this isn't a lesson on clave, but I just want to point that out, that when you hear this, uh, 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 so it's outlining the clave. Anyway, you don't need to remember that, but let me give you, before we go, let me give you a few things you don't want to do and things you do want to do if you want to recreate the palito. So first of all, use some little sticks. Now these are full-size drum set sticks. These might be too big for younger students or people that don't have a lot of control uh, ability, right? So you don't want to give these to, let's say, kindergarten or first grader because they're going to be, wah, you know, and something bad could happen. So what do you do? You give them little sticks. You could give them even littler, little, even more palitos. Uh, maybe something like these little mallets that have very tiny little thin sticks. Okay, so you can do that. Chopstick, the original palito, <laughs> palitos. You could do a super stick, like I showed you how to make in one of my videos. This is uh, using PEX tubing. So these would be great, lightweight. You're not going to hurt anything. Um, you could even play on the edge of the of the bearing edge of the drum, like here, and you're not going to damage it. That works great. What do you not want to use? You do not want to use these, commonly called rhythm sticks, or in some category, lummy sticks, or some people might say lummy sticks. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it lummy or lummy? Who cares? Don't use them. <laughs> Why? Because they're big. This one's serrated. You're going to do some damage with this. And they're painted. So don't get paint all over the place. You know, you don't use painted sticks for the palitos. Unless you don't mind, uh, you know, paint uh, marks getting all over everything. But, you know, just stick with some natural sticks. You can use a polymer, some kind of plastic thing. Thin, lightweight, easy to play, and just get into it, you know, and spend some time yourself practicing playing the palitos pattern. It's an important pattern. It's usually what you hear first. 
in an ensemble, when an ensemble gets going. Now, check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. But go listen to some rumba. I would bet you uh, a nickel that the first thing you're here, you will hear is the palitos. All right? So now you know. Tune into it. It's fun. It's an easy, pretty easy patterns. It, you know, you can do one, one stick. Or you can do that same pattern and fill in with the other stick. This is good stuff, you guys. It's simple. It's musical. It's authentic. You're connecting your, yourself and your students to real music that, that people play. It's out in the world. You'll hear it in recordings. All right? So that's, this is good stuff, you guys. I hope you appreciate it. If you do, uh, you know, smash the like button if there is one. Subscribe to the World Drum Club channel. See me over at patreon.com slash Kalani. I wish you well. Happy music making. And I'll see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching.